How do we stay highly productive while working at home? Hi, it's Coach Cotto. I wanted to talk to you guys about establishing boundaries and balance while working at home and yet being highly productive. I'm not disciplined at all and I work from home. This means that absent some kind of routine, I will inevitably end up doing one of two things, working constantly and ignoring the people that I love or never actually starting my workday at all. My family doesn't necessarily love the first scenario and my business partners don't love the second. And truthfully, I'm not a big fan of either. So despite my lifelong dream of living outside of any structure, I designed a workday for myself and you should too. Working remotely means no one is gonna impose a routine for you. There are no set times for breaks or lunch, and there's no clearly defined end of work day. You have to decide this all for yourself. Setting up a routine keeps your work-life balance from tipping too much toward work or too much towards life. Without a routine, you'll constantly work. It's easy to fall into bad habits at the office. It's even easier when you work from home. Everything you need to do your job is right there in your house at all hours. There's nothing stopping you from working constantly, which is why you have to stop yourself. Routines help. Figure out when it works for you to start, then stick to it. I recommend not diving into work right after you wake up. Maybe have some breakfast, do some reading, meditation, text a friend, make some coffee. Use the time that you would otherwise be your commute to go work out or take a run. Throughout the day, take breaks, and I mean actual breaks, where you get up and do something that has nothing to do with your job. Get something to eat, do some cleaning, maybe go outside, just give your brain some time away from the task at hand. In an office, there are reminders to take a break a coworker stopping by your office, or walking to and from the copy machine. These sorts of pauses don't happen at home, so you have to create them. Add a calendar appointment, or set an alarm if you consistently forget. You should also pick a time when you'll stop working and stick to that too. Just try to have some kind of consistent schedule, or you might find that work is taking over every minute of your day. It's not healthy, and it's also not particularly productive. Without a routine, your workspace and everything else will be a blur. Home is where your stuff is. It's probably also where your family, if you have roommates, and your pets. Part of having a routine means having a dedicated workspace and making sure people you live with think of it as your workplace. We need to create a dedicated space for work. Ideally, it's a room, and if not, make it a corner. That spot is being at work. It helps create a mental separation from being at work versus being at home. And this isn't just about productivity. Not setting these boundaries can also make your home life worse, especially with other people in the house. The kids just come at me with things while I'm on a meeting or an accountability call, and I've said things I don't necessarily mean just to make them go away, or I get angry because they broke my concentration and that throws me off longer than it should. Nothing about this is easy and a routine helps. If you work on a semi-regular schedule in the same place, the people in your life will eventually learn when and where it is and it isn't acceptable to interrupt you. That's going to make getting things done a lot easier, but it's also going to make it easier to get along with people in your life. Ideally, you'll have a space with a door that closes, but it's not necessary. My office is my outdoor courtyard. I move my essentials to the patio table at around 7.45 a.m. every morning. That's my desk until 1.30 p.m. Once the sun moves, I move with it, and so does my oversized umbrella. I've learned that a change of environment also gives me new perspective. So when I'm stuck on something, the new scenario scenery allows me to see things differently. I have my background music on and I put my earphones on when I need to focus. Sometimes I have music on and sometimes I'll just wear them. What matters is the sign, the signal that the headphones send to the people around me that I'm trying to focus. 
Again, the specifics don't matter, just that you have some kind of workspace routine and that the people in your life know about it. Routine automates discipline. Not having a routine is the only thing worse than being stuck in one. This is counterintuitive. The word routine is literally used to mean boring. This is a perfect example of when we say, learn to appreciate and get bored with the process about motivating yourself. You need to design systems that work for you and stick to them. A routine makes this a lot easier by removing decisions from your day to day. That also makes it easier to stay on track both when you're working and when you're not. Thank you for tuning into my blog. If there is a topic that you would like me to shoot a video around, please let me know. Again, my name is Scott Cotto and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.